Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and this is The Groom, and we just watched IT Chapter 2. That's right, we saw a movie in theaters very shortly after it was released. And I'd also like to say that we saw it with our favorite neighborinos in the world. Shoutouts to you guys, Will and Darian, who are also getting married next month, so mazel tov. Give us a little synopsis. It's exactly like... <laughs> The miniseries part two. So our uh, our story opens 27 years later after the uh, first part with a carnival going on and there's, you know, some unsavory types there, I guess you would call them. A gang of little monster freaking kids, looks like te teenagers yeah. that are targeting a gay couple and as they're leaving, they approach them in the street right by this bridge and pretty much attack them for, like, no reason. And, uh, which I hated that part. Yeah, that part made me and, sick. And, you know, they literally proceed to beat the ever-loving hell out of them and toss the one, toss the one gentleman over the bridge. And as he's floating down the river and his partner, uh literally runs down the other side of the embankment he starts essentially drowning and he's trying to get to the other embankment and he sees somebody on the other embankment and he kind of makes his way over there and he reaches up for him and it's our old friend pennywise so um this kind of kicks off the whole it's back and mike stayed in Derry and is trying to contact all the other members of the losers club to let them know it has returned we did make a blood oath you guys said you come back so get on a plane and uh one by one you get to see him call them they react they show up and they try to figure out what the heck to do to try to stop the clown mike seems to have done some research and has formulated a, a plan or a ritual to try to defeat it like a borderline obsession well yeah so he is he is the only one that stayed in Derry, and it seems that the farther away the other members of the club got the less and less they remembered they don't quite recall who mike is first when he calls and then they start you know slowly remembering all these horrific things and uh mike never left so he never forgot but they're all trying to band together and fight this evil, and I suppose we could leave it off there as it is spoiler-free. If you have seen the miniseries from the 90s, it's really not spoiling anything. Or if you the have book. read the book, it is not spoiling anything. But we like to keep the reviews spoiler-free as possible, so that's all we're going to say. What would you like about this movie? This movie was hilarious. It was so funny. There was, I don't know if it's just because I have a dark sense of hu of humor, but it, uh, this movie was hilarious to me. Like, this was, f this was funnier than it was scary for, for yeah. me. Yeah. Because there were so, there were so many times where I, I laughed. Just, I just the stuff that was being said, the way it was delivered, it was hilarious. Um, that is definitely probably what I liked the most about it. I would agree. I think that this movie was intentionally funny. And I think it did, you know, for sure play to the gallows humor, you know, the mm -hmm. dark sense of humor. And I feel like if you're a horror fan, like, Probably most likely you're going to have a dark sense of humor. I thought, you know, some of the gags were hilarious. Some of the... <laughs> the Stephen King cameo is amazing. The Stephen King cameo is very good. We won't go into that too much, but he's there. Just look for just, him. Just like every, every Stephen King movie, he's in there. Mm-hmm. Not as great as his cameo in Creep Show, but still pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that one's great. Um, I liked that there was an homage to the thing, with a particular character's head being on a spider body, and then kind of scuttling about. If you've seen the thing, you know which part I'm talking about. And it was, it, it did have a lot of CGI. But I felt like there was a lot of practical effects to build off of for that. So that, you know, that was really cool. There's a lot of little things in the movie that you're like, oh, this other Stephen King movie. Oh, this reference mm -hmm. to, like, a different 80s horror movie. Like, really cool. It kept a lot of, you know, the themes in it. Um, I I love these actors. They did a great job. Maybe not one of them did a great job. 
I felt like the character of grown-up Ben just wasn't very strong. I feel like his character as a child, way stronger. I don't know if it was the actor they chose to play him. Like, he was good, I think but he was wasn't actor. Yeah, he wasn't what I was expecting because the kid that played Ben, love him. He was great. Like, the entire cast of the children was great. Um, James McAvoy, like, can do no wrong. So good. Like, he so believable. I, I just, I love his acting. Um, the man does his research. He totally I will, does. I will give him that. And, like, Bill Skarsgård, like, still amazing. Great job. You so know. creepy. What did you dislike about the movie? Uh, I just, you know, for me, when it comes to the it miniseries, the book, the second half of it's always forgettable for for me. I feel like it's not as good as the first half. So I came into this with low expectations. I came into this because it's not, you know, obviously I love the first half. The first part of the miniseries, the first half of the book, I all thought were significantly better. The thing I hated the most was the stupid ritual thing. Well, that's a God, big part it. of the book. Though. I know. It's the thing I hated about the book. It's just, that didn't bother me. I just, I just, I just don't like it. I just hate... Oh, it's so bad. I was surprised, like, the miniseries, I always enjoyed the first half more than the second half. Mm -hmm. But I actually really enjoyed the second half. I mean, it wasn't scary. I, be... I wasn't scared by it, but I enjoyed the character development of them from when they were children to when they were adults, and more relevant topics being brought up about like love and you know mm. human relationships and uh <laughs> the other bad thing was the, <laughs> the goddamn cgi was so oh god bad. that is my number one dislike the cgi took me oh. out of so many scenes like i'd be really into it and then it would pop up and all i could think was like wow that looks terrible like i just couldn't get into it and i feel like a lot of things would have been way more effective had they been practical like just do practical effects for the things you could do them for. Like, say, uh, monster design. You want different creatures. Just do a practical effects, because it's going to look way better than any CGI. It just, to me at least, I feel like it could have been way scarier if they just kept it practical. If they didn't... It just has this look to it that you're like, ugh, uh, mm. I, I know that's not real. It's just the story's weak. The, the the second half of the story is like weak. It's kind of like it's they did a great job in the movie though. They took a weak story and actually made it interesting, but they put a ton of cheap jump scares in there. There were a, a lot ton. of jump scares. There and was like cheap a, jump scares there. There was a decent amount of gore though. I was pretty excited about that. I'm really glad they did keep my your favorite line and my favorite line from from the original series. Any series, I feel like Skarsgård delivered it almost. Almost as good as Curry did, but Curry was so great. The kiss me, fat boy. <laughs> so good. Um, I just, I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know the the acting. Bill Bill Hader and and Mag Boy were amazing. Um, oh, I mean, I feel like Bill Hader was really great with comedy and during the action scenes but when it was like super traumatic parts it was a little like he didn't quite know how to emote which is fine because i feel like the funny scenes made up for that definitely mm -hmm. but he was having like oh i think he was having trouble trying to pull it from somewhere yeah i just where like mcavoy's just like bam like upset <laughs> freaking out crying happy confused kissing beverly okay then i just Ma mcavoy just i feel like if it, it over focused on him it over it over focused on mcavoy's character the, mm. enti the entire second half of this like it felt like you know as it, it was like him and him riding around and him doing this and i'm gonna do that it, it's just it, like there were there was a part of it where it just kind of like he dominated the movie for like 30 minutes i didn't feel like that and it just i didn't like that i just i i honestly it was it wasn't scary enough it was the only thing that made me actually like this movie is i thought it was hilarious and but it just it was more comedy than horror for me like i wasn't really scared at all like original 
like in the first one, that Pennywise creeped me out. Okay, and Skarsgård in this one, it's he wasn't as scary in the in this one. I feel I feel like he took a step back in this in this in this in this movie. Like the the part where shows when he's a human putting on the makeup, that was that was really good. That was probably the scariest moment of it. That when it shows screen. when it yeah. shows him put, do, doing the makeup, all oh, that's so good. There's such a great aspect to the red lines on his face, and it's like that was like the only like holy shit part. But a lot of it was like I really don't remember the second half of the mini series. I really don't remember the second half of the book. But even if you've never watched that or never read that, a lot of it's obvious. A lot of it's obvious, even if you haven't read it. So. I mean, for me, it was like, it wasn't scary. It was more funny than scary. And if, oh. that, if that's what they were going for, they they nailed it. But if they were trying to make this scary, they failed miserably. It's also like, there's different things you're scared of when you're an adult. Yeah. And I think watching little kids reacting to things that are scary... If you watched an adult react to the same things, they wouldn't have the same reaction. Yeah, but this movie should not be made for kids. <laughs> and no, no, no. I mean, like, as some, like, as we're adults watching it, mm -hmm. you're going to feel scared for that kid. Yeah. You know, you're not going to be like, well, you're an adult. Like, you need to deal with it. If it's a little kid, you're like, oh, no, no, no. Like, I feel bad for you. I'll tell you what I hated the most about this movie. I hated the fact that the little bastards in the first scene that attacked the gay couple for no reason didn't get murdered yeah. or maimed or drugged behind a car or something freaking horrible happened to them. It just, it just, they just did that scene and then you never saw those char characters again. I hated that. I'm just hoping they're in a ditch. <laughs> dying somewhere. I was so mad. Like, that made me so upset. You didn't have to make them a gay couple. Like, it's just, I don't know. I, that's just to get to, that reaction. To me, though. yeah. To, yeah, but it got a distasteful. Like, yeah. I thought that was dis, distasteful and could have been done do, differently. Could have been, I don't know. Maybe, it, I was thinking about it, like, maybe it's, like, because they had Henry back when they were children. Now it's showing maybe they're still, like, just horrible teenage yeah. people, young adults around. And it's... Maybe it's something with the town. It seems like a lot of bad things happen to this town. Uh, like it's the... just like maybe it just shows that it's a it's a it's a backwards thinking town. Yeah, uh, it was a... disturbing that the kid that started that whole thing was like he looked like maybe twelve to sixteen. Yeah, he was. Yeah. J oh, disgusting! And I know that that things like this happen all the time and i think that's why it got to me because it is a real thing that happens mm -hmm. and it's really upsetting and yeah that sucks but all right so what do you what do you rate this i would give this probably like a 3 out of 5 it didn't scare me i really did enjoy the story i hated the cgi and it took me out of it a lot unfortunately but i did enjoy it i will watch it again i'm probably going to get it when it comes out I give Super this, funny. I give this a two out of five. I really, I would not pay to watch this movie again. I'm mad at the amount of money we paid to watch this movie the, the first, the first time, and I probably won't watch this movie again until it becomes free somewhere. Because I just, I didn't enjoy this movie. I was lit. I was bored by this movie a lot. I just didn't like it. I it didn't. It, it failed in compare in com in comparison to the first one. The book, the original miniseries, it's like, this was the worst, pe this was the worst one I saw. This is just, it was just funny to me. And I didn't go to see it chapter two to be humor. I, I, I didn't go there to ma be made yeah. happy. Yeah, I didn't go there. <laughs> I went there expecting like, you know, that's the other thing. I hated the happy ending. God, it's stupid. Happy. It's fine. It's a hard, it's a hard movie. But, like, that's what I felt. I felt like I went to watch a horror movie and I ended up at a comedy, and that's fine. I liked the comedy. That's, I liked the comedy, but that's the only thing I like. I liked about it. All right. So, yeah, just shit all over that. Okay. Have you seen the movie yet? What are your thoughts? Leave us some comments down below. If you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can, uh... 
Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. Like the video if you did like the video. Or you could like the video if you like practical effects more than CGI, because knock that shit off. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their amazing creators and content. We're going to find you. You can find me on Twitch under Repeat Ray, Ray Animator. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter under Repeat Groom Ray. There will be links below in the description for all of our social media. I guess that wraps it up. Uh, it up. Ha ha ha. Yippee ki yay, mother. <laughs>